Chris, this is cool to me. Yesterday, South Dakota cornfield, we are lucky enough to harvest a few mallards and sprig. And now our boy Jay, your head chef here at Rosalie's, is gonna prepare them, and this is awesome. It's gonna be kind of an Asian flair, but you said you're from the South, but you're still gonna use barbecue sauce to incorporate that Southern taste yep. into it, but you're gonna use a uh, Asian barbecue sauce, right? Yep, we call it poison. Yep. Poison sauce, and so we're just gonna run through this. I, I'm really intrigued by this, because a lot of waterfowl hunters, they kill their ducks or geese, the first thing they do is just peel the skin back, cut the breast meat off of the breastplate, and then that's the meat that they get. But if you really take your time and understand and study recipes for full ducks like this, whether you're deep fat frying them in a turkey fryer, or you're broiling them, or you're baking them, or whatever you choose to do, barbecuing them, there's so many good recipes. There's a lot of good meat on the wings and on the legs of a mallard duck or a, a Canada goose. So let's roll with it. I'm excited to see yep. this. Yep. Okay, so we're going to start with adding our uh, Asian soy sauce. And then, That's just regular soy? Yep, regular soy sauce. And then we're going to add a nice dry wine. This one here is actually from South Dakota. Nice. And, and then we're going to add just some little bit of water. Yep, okay. And at that point in time, then you want to add your poison sauce. So what it was, hoisin is kind of just a tangy Asian barbecue sauce. Yep, it's yep. their flair on it. Yep, yep exactly. It's, it's killer. It's, it's used in uh, Chinese spare ribs, yeah. mushu pork. Just to kind of uh, make the hoisin sauce work with the wine, you need to add acid. So that's why you'll add lemon and juice. So that's just straight lemon juice right yep, there. Straight. A little citrus and acid. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Yep. I get that. And then you want to add uh, a little bit of garlic. Now, I'm a huge garlic fan. You, oh. I, I don't think that if you're, I mean, you're a professional chef. You probably don't cook anything without garlic, do you? True. Even true. like cereal and stuff? <laughs> <laughs> exactly, and exactly. And then uh, for the marinade process and also for smell, I like to use real whole peppercorns. So now when you're cooking for a, a dinner for tonight, we got 15 guys and you're preparing this duck, we're gonna have some prime rib. Are you a measurer? Because I'm not. Do you do you measure all this out perfect for every recipe? Uh, or do no. you just go by touch and feel? Mainly for me, it's more about taste. Things need to be balanced. They need to be balanced. Yep. So your sweeteners, your salts, you got to really exactly. balance all that. Your citruses, your acids, all that stuff. Exactly, so. exactly. And you learn a lot of that in culinary school? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Really? Yep. They really help you understand the, you know, sugars and the acids. And Yep. So finally, Rosalie's gets somebody in here and they, they teach the owner how to cook. And <laughs> exactly. you, you came in here and just, they, That's basically you, it, yes. You came in here yes. and resurrected this entire menu, huh? <laughs> Yes, that's it. And then you want to add a little bit of ginger. That's just straight ginger straight powder. Straight ginger, yep. Like uh, it. Kind of the Asian version of spice. And then I like to add a little bit of southern spice in the... Is that cayenne? Yes. Go yep. easy on that, Doug. Yep. Yep. And then you want to use your onion that you're also going to cook with the... With the duck. With the duck, yep. And then after this is, this is all, all good and mixed, then you're going to soak it in your duck for an hour and a half minimum time. So you just want to get this area, let yep. some air get in there, let all those flavors and really mix together good. Get that marinade. And then I'm just going to dump it on top of that mallard. Yep. Right in here with right the onion. There. All the way across. And you're saying 90 minutes minimum on this yes. marinade yep. on a duck. Minimum. So now obviously that's just one duck there. And we're going to do all of them in that same recipe. And then after they marinate for 90 minutes, two hours, you're going to take them and you're going to put do what with them? They'll go into the oven at 325 covered for the first hour, hour and a half. And then for the last 35 minutes, you'll want to uncover them to actually uh, crisp up that top skin. Yeah, so your duck, when you serve duck with skin on it, you always want it to be crispy. Yes, nice for sure. Yep. So that's beautiful, man. I'm excited for it. And so when this duck comes off and you pull that leg bone off or that meat off of the breastplate, I'm assuming that it'll be a medium rare, nothing more than medium rare. Exactly. Because right? exactly. with, with waterfowl, with most wild game, in my opinion, if you go over medium rare, you're, you're completely killing the process. Yeah, yeah. So. Uh, you are cooking duck, not chicken. Yeah. Yep. And you can, uh, and, and duck gets a bad rap because a lot of people, they overcook it and they live, they get that liver texture on it and it's a bad taste. So yep. I'm excited for this. All right, let's fast forward and eat one of these. Can you cook them fast? <laughs> can't do it? No, can't Man, do you it. You need to get him a better oven, dude. <laughs> <laughs>